Okay, hey, good morning everybody watching. So I wanted to do a little bit more talking, but a buddy of mine who I'm training with this morning, who I also shoot with a lot of the time, he showed up hella early, even though I told him 9.45ish, but he showed up uh, hella early. So basically, I just got off of work. It's been my routine to go out and hit an outdoor gym. I wanted to, he just pulled up next to me. I wanted to discuss a few things and just do a little bit more talking, but I do have to keep it rushed. So I'm gonna go into Sprouts. I think I'm gonna get me one of these more like natural energy drinks, like low caffeine, very mild stimulant. And then we're gonna head over here to this outdoor park. Hopefully, you guys already know it's during the quarantine right now or whatnot. So hopefully it's not caution taped off. But yeah, we're hoping to hit a good outdoor chest workout, get a little bit of cardio in as well. Yeah, I hope everybody watching, I hope you guys are staying motivated motivated through these hard times. If you're having any doubts about working out or training or doing something and you're just, you know, like, man, I'm just gonna stay home and not do nothing, fuck that. Get up, do something productive, and I promise you're gonna feel better afterwards. So don't let that diet go to shit. Don't let your training goals go out the window. It's the worst thing you can do. At least stay a little bit active. Even if you're not open to going to a park or maybe you're scared to go into a park and it makes you nervous because of things getting passed around, coronavirus or whatever, do something at home. You know, that's what I've been doing on the days where I can't. So I hope everybody's having a good morning and I'll take you through a little bit more of my day for those of you who are interested of anybody and I'll catch y'all in a little bit. All right. Hey okay, everybody, so yeah, we just got it started. Basically, we've been, we've been running up and down this hill right here at a local park. Luckily, it's not taped off like we thought it might be. That's my boy, Kobe from CB Photography. He's out here getting it in with me. First time in a minute, so it's probably gonna be a rough day for him, but that's okay, we're about to kill shit. So he's got that natural muscle. Look at all that natural muscle. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta work out seven days a week. This is looking, eh. We're about to hit this hill real fast and then we're gonna move on to the next exercise. You down with chest day today? Down. We're gonna be focused on chest. That's what we're doing. Yeah. We came a long way, that's what the song say And I could do all things, I could do all things Yeah, I could do I'm blaming that I'm blaming that on his long ass legs <laughs> He beat me I wasn't really trying, no I was trying to take it easy on him, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> trying to take it easy, leave him legs, long ass legs Lately I'm zoning, lately I know where I'm going Taking whatever control is, show me your opponents Show me your opponents, I got a gift and I'm starting to own it Yeah, yeah came a long way, and that's what the songs say, and I can do all things, I can do all things, yeah, I can do all things, yeah, yeah, we came a long way, and that's what the songs say, and I can do all things, and I can do all things, and I can do all things, yeah, yeah, we came a long way, and that's what the songs say, and I can do all things, I can do all things. This guy right here, this guy takes more breaks than anyone I've ever worked out with. Not just because he's always taking calls either. He's just been bullshitting, changing the music on my stereo. Yep, he knows. He just figured it all out. This guy's taking so many breaks. It's getting hard to hold the camera up with that arm, so you know we're doing something right. Gotta be doing something right if it's hard to hold the camera up, right? So far, we've done a lot of chest stuff, a lot of supersets, just because, you know, obviously we don't have the heavy weight. I'm like normal, so started out doing like dips, put those into decline presses against the bench, then a little bit of tricep work and then push-ups from diamond push-ups to standard length push-ups going straight into this chest press machine so super sets from push-ups to the chest press machine and then we've been kind of using this one as more of an incline press as you guys saw we'll do like the ass in the air push-ups to focus more on the upper pec and then we'll go straight into doing this for a super set as you guys saw in some of the video clips so yeah just a lot of super sets man just finding ways to stress the muscle out a little bit more since we don't have the heavy weight we're used to you know this guy's throwing a break over here look at this guy Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. I was talking a little shit, yeah, I was talking shit. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo, that was close. What? That was, I don't know, it looked clear, it looked like you were about to trip, bro. I seen some movement. Should I? Well, I mean, it'll make some good footage if you fuck up. It'll make some good footage if you don't fuck up. I'm net if I fall. All right, ready? Ready. Ooh. <laughs> You're supposed to say parkour when you do it, though. Oh, shit. You got to yell parkour. It don't count. Ain't even going to wait for me, bro. That's cool. It's all good. Uh -huh. Ain't even going to wait for me, bro. That's cool. I, w I have shit. I look, you ain't got nothing. Look, bag. Like, I got bags. I was carrying music. I was a music Water. provider. Put me in there. I'm putting you right up in there. It's bright as fuck. Man, quit making me God, look so damn, white. It's bright. Bro, we both look white right white now. white AF. Damn. At least, you know, you should look white because you are you white, right? You mixed. Anyways, right. positivity. Air outside is really nice. It's beautiful getting outside the house. It's a positive Definitely thing. take time to appreciate the little things. These little outdoor gyms are pretty legit, so take Definitely. advantage of them. Social distancing. Oh, snap. Oh, oh, oh. So, yeah, <laughs> Breaking the rules. That, enjoy what is available to you to do the workouts, even if you can't go to the gym. Even so. if you take a lot of breaks on your phone. 
Yeah, business even, costs. If, even if you're a business owner trying to make He's money while you work out. Really. On a super real note, though, a lot of my vloggers, I mentioned this guy. I owe a lot of thanks to this guy. I've got a ton of jobs from him. I work with him a lot, and I owe this guy a lot. Great business owner out of Sacramento, and he's been a good friend the whole way, so. Thank you, man, for everything. You're welcome. I really mean that. Just like I've said in a lot of my other videos, so that's nothing new. Thank you. Thank you. Social distancing elbow. You know what I'm saying? Bam. This guy, amazing videographer, amazing photographer. Learned a ton from this guy. This is a busy man right here, man. Always busy. Just trying to keep up with this guy. Well, workout wise. Workout wise. Work wise, this guy's killing it. <laughs> yeah, we just wrapped up another outdoor quarantine workout. First workout actually with my partner right here who I do a ton of video jobs with. Kobe Barrett from CB Photography out of Sacramento. Very motivational person. He's an inspiration. And honestly, he owns his own physical business out in Citrus Heights in Sacramento. Me and him do a ton of jobs together. Lots of weddings, lots of business promos. Throughout a lot of my videos, I'm always giving thanks to him because he's helped me out a lot with my videography career. He helps me book a ton of gigs. I do a lot of weddings and stuff for him and anytime I can book a gig for both of us too always feels amazing for me man working with him is a ton of fun any weddings we do we always have hella fun we've got a few behind the scenes videos that, that I've done and put together a lot of them actually we haven't released yet but those are definitely coming soon my goal I'm getting super close to it I've got a lot of backed up videos saved up a lot of videos that I haven't released yet because my goal is to do weekly releases which I'm gonna start doing very soon like very very soon hopefully within the next two months I'm gonna start doing weekly video drops every single week so I'm looking forward to that things are kind of slow right now but I've made up for it by doing other gigs and doing vlogs the vlogs are really close to my heart kind of like a passion project which revolves around just special needs parenting I am a full-time dad to a son that has autism and other cognitive disabilities and I just think that I might have some helpful advice for other parents going through similar situations so I hate to be super repetitive I know I've said it throughout a lot of my videos I should probably plan these a little bit better sometimes but today was real rushed I didn't know my boy was even gonna join me for the workout until last minute so we just kind of went with the flow or whatnot but to anybody watching i hope you did have a positive and a productive day if you are a parent to a special needs kid or even just a parent in general i know things are a little rough right now trying to balance work life with goals and with your kids being at home all day because of the quarantine you know don't forget to do something for yourself if you have any type of goals diet fitness work whatever you have try to work on it at least a little bit today i know it's hard with your kids being at home but you're going to be a better parent for it you're going to be a happier person for it and if anything i say motivate you guys at all that just seeing me get up in the morning and coming straight from work and staying positive through all of this stuff then that makes me happy and I'm glad to help anyone I can one thing I definitely wanted to touch on and that's you know I know a lot of people probably won't see this but close friends or acquaintances will probably see this when they watch my page but I'm always posting stuff to my IG like no excuses and quarantine games and you know dumb shit like that and at the end of the day at the end of the day it's just me trying to be positive the way the things are at these times it might not even be the most productive thing to be out here working out and hitting parks and stuff like that but the truth of the matter is you know at the end of the day is I struggle with the depression and for me personally if I don't stay active and if I don't stay productive and force myself to do positive building things like exercise and creating honestly it's, it's a little hard to admit but at the end of the day if I'm gonna be truthful a lot of the things driving me to do these things aren't just aren't just because I want to, but it's, it's kind of out of necessity because if I don't do these things, I tend to get really depressed. I get in a bad mental state. A lot of that is due to just being a full-time dad of a special needs kid and other circumstances. I just recently got out of an engagement about a year ago. I had a pretty nice place, three bedroom, two bathroom house last year. And now, you know, we're kind of winging it, waiting for me to get my business and taxes together and everything so me and my boy can get back into our own place. So it's been a little bit of a struggle, man. But even, you know, despite those things, if I don't stay active, if I don't stay productive and creating and feel like I have a purpose, I get depressed. And I know it's like that for a lot of other people as well. So if you see me out here doing my thing and posting quarantine gains and all this other dumb shit, really it's just me just doing what I have to do and what I need to do to stay positive. And I know it's like that for a lot of you guys too. A lot of people out there are taking this time to just drink more and smoke more and sit at home and eat hella food. And when you come out of this, you're probably going to be in a bad place if you're anything like me. And if you're the type of person who being productive and creative makes you happy and you're dropping that right now and not being productive and you're going the opposite way or if health and fitness is one of the things that keeps you happy and you're dropping that right now or you're letting go of your goals when this whole quarantine thing is over and the dust is cleared if you're in a much worse place than what you were before probably gonna beat yourself up more for it and I know I know that now is also a great time to spend more time with family and do those things but that doesn't mean you can't also fulfill your goals and keep them involved and active and physical in the house so yeah I know me personally man if I didn't keep it going and keep doing what I'm doing I would be in a, in a terrible place right now 
now. It's really hard to stay motivated and positive right now, and that's why I'm out here doing what I'm doing, because if not, man, I kind of fall apart. And also, if in some way, if I can make someone feel a little bit more motivated and positive going through these same things, that is really what makes me happy. So I hope that some of these vlogs can do that for some of you guys. At the end of the day, if it even helps one person, that made it worth it. It made it worth me putting these long videos together and doing all this shit that I do. On that note, my plan is to go home, be a good dad, cook some food, spend some time with my boy. I don't know if we have therapy today yet because we actually lost one of our therapists recently. We have a new one that's going to be coming in pretty soon. So if we don't have therapy, that's just more time for me and him to spend together. If we do have therapy, that's going to be a little bit more time for me to uh, just work on some projects at home because I have some video projects too. I have a first birthday documentary and a first birthday highlight video. Also, I have to finish a new outro for my YouTube page. That's on the list of things to do today. So I might share a little bit more. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm going to keep it moving. So here we go. Woo! Coming in hot for some snacks, man. Yeah. All right. All right, me too. I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. Which one do you want to eat? Probably our chickpeas first. Oh, I could eat this cookie later for after lunch. <laughs> you are crazy. Now I could eat. I'm going to eat this. I'm going to eat this. Here. A cute baby. So yeah, we're here at the park. We're eating some chickpeas, mm -hmm. and we're gonna we're gonna share a keto cookie. Does mm -hmm. that sound good? Yeah. Yeah, originally, we were supposed to go to the river, right? Mm -hmm. But Daddy kind of took forever because I've been filing amended returns and trying to fix my taxes. Because now that I made Perseverance Films and Media uh, sole proprietorship and made everything legal, it's just been kind of a headache going back on two years worth of taxes and fixing everything I was supposed to fix. But yeah, we were supposed to go to the river. That was my plan. I know he wants to play some games and everything. I'm sure a lot of you guys as kids want to play some games first off but for me the whole principle of working first before play i try to kind of instill that on him as well so i know he'd like to just sit around and play games but a lot of you guys might feel the same way where you feel guilty if they're just uh, playing games Daddy? all day i try to finish what i had to finish it ran pretty late so i feel pretty bad but by the time i finished my taxes and stuff and making calls he wasn't feeling like going to the river anymore so we're just going to save that for another day so now we're up at the park and we are having a little picnic and then we're going to race our scooters around a bit you know whenever he's just gaming and stuff like that working i feel bad but i had to do what i had to do so now I'm taking him out to the park for a little while so we can get some physical activity in, play a little bit. Then we'll go home, and then I know you want to play some video games when we get back, right? Play Sonic Adventure. We're going to go back, play some games once we get back because we went out. I'm not going to feel guilty anymore about it. So Daddy will make some dinner, and we'll take a bath. And then once he gets down, I'll be able to work for hopefully about two hours on some video editing before I have to head into my regular job, which is in-home caregiver. So that's kind of the process most days. I'll do a quick workout in the morning, head home, be a dad, take care of him, physical activity and now that he's out of school anyways like so yeah that's the plan man hopefully i can get him down on time after cooking dinner to get a little bit of personal work done a little bit of video work done which i really need to because i'm falling behind with this whole no school thing and yeah that's our process i know a lot of you guys follow the same process if you guys feel guilty get your kids out first work before play is a good principle to follow man leaves no excuses and room for messing up so yeah that's what we're doing getting our snacks in we got these, these honey roasted chickpeas that are actually pretty healthy pretty low calorie and they're really it's the first time i ever tried them and we got this right here this keto cookie that we're gonna split and then we're gonna race our scooters i'll catch you guys in a little bit so yeah something i forgot to touch on you know not not a lot of us have very self-sufficient kids in the way of them playing with themselves and not needing a lot of our attention a lot of kids just you know, they go through and play with toys and video games but my boy gotta have attention he, he's gotta have someone to play with or he gets lonely I mean, he doesn't play so much with toys it's usually games and stuff like that and that's just because he really you know needs attention from others so a lot of you parents out there that do have the self-sufficient kids a little easier and it's great for you happy for you a lot of us that aren't in the same situation it is a great idea to get our kids out early get them to do some physical activity and then you won't feel guilty when you actually sit down with them and play some video games and do stuff like that before your work so that's usually my strategy and the principle i try to follow with my boy same as i do for my life you know work out first work first then relax and i can't really relax that well unless work's done first and my errands and my goals are met but yeah i try to follow the same principles with him and, and raising him before we sit at home and play games and be a uh, couch potatoes or anything we like to get our activity in first and then everything all the goals are met that way so i think it's a great great principle to practice so now we're gonna eat our snacks and we're gonna get out and race some scooters does that sound good all right let's do it man how was it buddy good you like it mm -hmm. it's really good cheers cheers Mm. Salud. Salud. <laughs>
So I just got little man down about 8.14. Got him down a little bit early, so that's gonna leave me hopefully about two and a half hours to edit before I go into my regular job. I hope that these videos brought you guys some positivity today. I know everything's kind of still in its early form, but I do have plans to keep releasing the special needs parenting type of vlogs. I hope that they help some people. I was thinking earlier today, if they get a little bit more popular, maybe what I would do, but like I said, I did want to help. I didn't want to respond to anyone if they just wanted someone to talk to or, or just uh, some type of platform to have to discuss something of the difficulties that we go through. So I was thinking if the page does get a little bit more popular that maybe I would pick certain days throughout the week just to respond to people or daily at certain times. I think that would be doable as well. Yeah, I hope today's video brought you guys some positivity in one way or another. I hope anybody watching stays creative and productive and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you for watching.